So in this video, we're gonna make this scene pop a little bit more using a mist pass. This forest scene is from Felicia White. There is a link to her Discord and also her Patreon in the description. So first thing we need to enable the mist pass, let's come over into the render layers and we're gonna put a tick next to mist. Next, we need to have the camera selected and we go into the camera properties, viewport display and enable mist. From here, we gotta go into the world settings and you can see that we've got now a mist pass option and we need to set our start and our depth. So if we kind of like have a look at this scene, we can see this is the start of the mist pass. So this is kind of like value zero and this would be value one. Now it's always good to go past the end of your scene a little bit, but we'll control that in a sec. Now you can see down here, I've already rendered the image by itself. Now I just have a simple sky texture as the world background. Let's come into the top here, make sure we select use nodes. And first up, let's go shift A, search color ramp. And I'm going to put it up here with the mist. I'm gonna plop it into here. And I can now go control shift left click. And we can see that this is our mist pass. Now I can control the depth of the mist pass. Obviously further back we go, you know, we can make this one come forward so we can really bring that mist forward. But I'm just gonna leave it where it is. So that is fine. And what we'll do is now combine both the image and the mist. Shift A to search and let's go mix shader. And we'll put that in there. The image can come into the bottom and let's do add. And so you can see now that we've added the mist to our initial image. However, you see that we've got this problem where the background is super white. Not really good for us. We still want some of that sky coming in. So from here, Shift A, search. Let's type in mix again, and we're gonna plop that one in. Let's Control Shift left click on the rendered layers. And I'm going to select our color here, eyedropper, and I want probably this color back here. And now we can go back to Shift left click on the mix. Let's just shift left click on this. And we can see that's what it looks like. Not very helpful. So let's change the mix to a color. And now you can see that we've turned that white into this kind of uh, off color here. Obviously, if we wanted to make it blue, we could come up to the top here and find a blue spot, or we could ultimately just change the color a smidgen. Shift left click. And you can see that now that haze has that more sky texture color. From here, we can go ahead and add just a little bit of extra oomph. So let's go, so let's go shift a search and add a mix shader. And we'll put this one in here. But this time, this is going to be our multiply. And I'm going to change this color down here from white to black. And now we can just fine tune just how much that mist is going to be affecting in there. And you can see that we've really made this image pop. So if we go to the original to where we are, it's just given that little bit of extra love. Let's just have a quick look at another scene. In this scene, we can see how well the mist pass really adds that extra depth. If we kind of just hide it and remove it, you can see that it's very bland and flat, but adding that extra mist pass in there, it gives a little bit of life. Putting in these subtle glows around these, this will be in a future video. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. Um, and once this scene is done, this will be available on Patreon. And one other thing we can do is really bring that mist kind of really come in harsh. So we only see those buildings. Let's bring it back even further. Mm. Spicy. 